I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. John chapter 15 and the vine and the branches is meaningful because of the wonderful Catholic ministries in Everdeen, which are all together bearing fruit and all together coming from the one vine of Jesus Christ. It's one of the best known scriptures uh, that people refer to all of the time and it's the strength of the, of the vine and the branches. It's all interconnected and to bear fruit, it all has to be healthy. Well, one vine, many branches is a, is a um, scripture that calls me to, as a leader, to invite everyone to join in and enrich the whole. We're here for a common purpose and we all play our part. Um, you know, the, the church by itself, if it's strong, has strong missions. And I think the opposite is true also. Um, strong missions mean a strong church as well. One vine, many branches means we're all connected. And we are all part of the solution to bringing together and supporting Catholic education, Catholic service in this community. In this time God is giving us, the changes that we need to make as parishes in reaching out and especially bringing people back into or newly into our church isn't always going to be a matter of uh, things like donuts or music, good things that they are. It's going to be more a matter of the core of what we do and core of what we've always done as Catholics, which is proclaiming Jesus Christ and Him crucified and bringing people to Him through His teachings and His sacraments in the church. What we're doing here is molding and forming young men and women to go out into uh, the community and be productive, faith-filled disciples of Christ in whatever occupation they choose. Aberdeen has had a strong Catholic education system for a very long time, and we hope to continue that. Presentation College at its current location began in 1951. We are sponsored by the Presentation Sisters of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And our purpose is to provide higher education access that is built upon the Catholic tradition of education. We serve individuals from all backgrounds and all faiths. We welcome people from all faiths. And our focus is on educating the whole person because we know someone just doesn't just learn intellectually, but as a human being, a whole person, there are social and spiritual aspects to their development as well. Avera St. Luke's is a top 100 hospital. There's 5,500 hospitals in the United States. This is one of the top 100 hospitals in this category in the United States. So our quality is outstanding. Our dedication to the mission of the Avera system and, and continuing on the ministry that is a 2,000 year old ministry now. Uh, it's a Jesus' healthcare ministry that we're continuing on. Just the, the geography here and, and to have a resource of this complexity and to be able to do it with, with Christian values is a tremendous asset for the, for the region. The sisters came from Ireland at Bishop O'Gorman's invitation in 1880. They ended up in Aberdeen, South Dakota in 1886 to teach. As the pastor of the Catholic parishes in Aberdeen, one vine, many branches, a future full of hope, reminds me of the fact that we need to be joined to Jesus, who is that one vine. He's the vine that gives us our life the fruit for all the many things that we do in this town. And that's where that hope comes from, is Him. He is our hope, and He is the source of the fruit 
that comes for the future. I think it's very, very important that we stand together and really together we can do so much more than we can do individually. I'm optimistic about the future of this community and our Catholic unity around serving more individuals um, with our faith. And a huge part of that is putting the needs of the community before the needs of any individual organization. Collaboration amongst Catholic organizations can only make us all stronger, right? So that as we look towards the future and we look towards this hope that we are generating into the future, that we're collaborating, we're communicating, we're, we've got all oars in the water going and pulling at the same time. It's going to be a wonderful, uh, exciting time for, uh, I think, these various organizations to move forward and have a unique communication basis. I think as people look back at how uh, this collaboration began, they will wonder how or why we ever functioned independently. How we did not think earlier of this opportunity to really come together and to support one another. Coming together for this celebration reminds us that we are one. The collaboration strengthens everybody, and so the outcomes can be much more important and much more impactful through collaboration than they'll ever be with all of us just doing our own internal thing. I'd like to invite anybody out there to become a part of the process. Don't remain still, but become a, a part of uh, encouraging everybody to make a, a better life uh, by falling in love with Jesus Christ and then encouraging everybody else to do the same. When we look back on this uh, beginning, this gathering, um, I hope they see that we have been watering the vine and we maybe gave it a little bit of um, fertilizer and um, that from it, the vine just flourished. We will see new little green shoots all coming out of this beautiful vine. So I hope this conversation makes you think, what is my role in One Vine Many Branches? What branch do I bring to that picture? What growth area might I be able to contribute to? And I encourage you to reach out today. As we look to the future, I'm excited to work more closely with the various Catholic institutions in town. And I want to invite you, dear parishioners, to discover for yourselves your own life of missionary discipleship as branches on the one vine of Jesus Christ.